be to God. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Welcome to our Gospel Foundation International Healing Ministries Bible Talk for Children. I'm glad that you guys um, have taken the time out to join us on this evening. God is good. Amen. God is good and he is greatly to be praised. <clears throat> At this time, we will um, continue with our welcome, but first I must um, greet and acknowledge the Holy Spirit, who is the head of our lives, um, our triune God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I would also, um, I must also acknowledge our spiritual leaders, um, and that would be Apostle and Pastor uh, Fordyce by name, and all of our wonderful children. I greet you all in the name of our soon and coming King, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. At this time, we will um, start off with our opening prayer. Bow your heads wherever you are. Most righteous and heavenly Father, God, we thank you for bringing us here on this live platform this evening. God, I pray that you will um, go take full control and go before us um, at this moment, oh God. Lead and direct us, sweet Jesus. I pray, God, that you will open up our hearts, the, the hearts of your children, God, so that they may receive your word and live according to your word day by day. I pray, Lord, that hearts will be blessed, God, and that each and every one of us will remember what it is that we will talk about during this Bible talk. Have your way right now, sweet Jesus. In your mighty precious name, I pray. Amen and amen. Again, I just want to um, take the time out to greet and welcome each, each and every one um, on our various social media platform on Zoom, on YouTube, on Facebook, as well as on our church website. As, as we all know, this month um, of February, we celebrate um, the Black History Month and it is uh, the month in which we bring um, awareness about the key black figures um, that have paved the way for us. And this evening, I just want to highlight the father, the, the, uh, father of our black history and that is Carter G. Woodson. Um, and just to share a few points about um, Carter Woodson um, in 1926, Woodson started Negro um, History Week, and in 1976, that same week was then expanded into Black History Month, um, and that uh, source was taken from CNN. So I just want to um, highlight and bring this to the uh, forefront so that we may continue to acknowledge um, those key Black figures who have um, paved the way for us to follow. So we are honoring the past and inspiring the future to come. Amen. Amen. Um, at this time, I will call on Apostle Fordyce just so we could um, pray for one of our children who is not feeling well today. Um, and the word of God does say that if there's anyone among us sick, we should call upon our elders Amen. And together we should pray um, for the healing of that in, um, for the healing of that individual. And this even I just want to um, do so and unite in prayer for one of our um, children who is not feeling well today. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father God, I thank you and I bless your name. I give you all the glory and the praise that's due unto your name, Father. You You are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the great I am. Hallelujah. Oh, you're our Savior, you're a deliverer, you're a healer, you're a present helper in times of trouble, Father. And here I am, Father God, bringing your people before you, oh God, bringing those God who are not feeling well in body before you, Father God. I pray, God, that your healing virtue, God, will flow to them wherever they are right now. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Lord. Father God, even Milan, God, seal Milan under your blood, cover under your blood, Father. Oh, God, I pray, God, that you yes, touch Lord, her God. body, Father God. Heal her right now, Father God. Bind up every plans of the enemy, every attack, Father God, coming to our health right now. I bind it up and I plead the blood against it, Father. And if there's anyone Thank else, Father Jesus. God, connected to the Zoom, God, that's not feeling well, I pray yes, also, Lord. Father yes, God, Lord. that your healing virtue, God, will flow to them right now, God. You said, you are the Lord that healed us. God, I give you the praise and the honor and glory, God. Meet every need, Father God, presented before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for the powerful prayer, Apostle Fordyce. Um, I pray that um, God will um, touch Milan wherever she is at this moment. And I pray for speedy recovery in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. At this time, we will continue um, with our worship series as we did um, last week we had started to talk about giving gladly. Um, And just a quick reminder on what worship is. It is to um, honor and adore God. So simply put, worship means to honor and to adore God. And last week, um, as I said earlier, we did um, started to talk about giving our offerings gladly to God. And this week we will continue with the act of worship in reading and listening to God's word, which is the Holy Bible. Um, As I um, had also mentioned yesterday, we worship, um, last week we worship God by singing songs of praises unto him, by praying to him, by reading and listening to his word, um, as well as going to um, church and coming to Bible talk and just giving our offerings unto him. Amen. So those are um, the key ways in which we show honor and reverence to God. The topic for today is God's word in worship. God's word in worship. And the Bible scripture will be taken from Nehemiah 8 verses 1 through um, 6. And we will be reading from the New Inter- the New International Reader's Version um, as is shown on our screen. The, the Israelites had made their homes in their towns. In the seventh month, all of them gathered together. They went to the open area in front of the water gate. They told Ezra to bring out the book of the law of Moses. The Lord had given Israel that law so they would obey him. Ezra was the teacher of the law. Ezra the priest brought the law out to the whole community. It was the first day of the seventh month. The group was made up of men, women, and children, old enough to understand what Ezra was going to read. He read the law to them for sunrise until noon. He did it as he faced the open area in front of the water gate. He read it to the men, the women, and the children old enough to understand. And all the people paid careful attention as Ezra was reading the book of the law. Ezra, the teacher of the law, stood on a high wooden stage. It had been built for the occasion. Mathithia, Shema, and Ananias stood at his right side. So did Uriah, Hilkiah, and Maseah. 
Pedea, Michelle, and Makileja stood at his left side. So did Hashum, Hashbadana, Zechariah, and Meshulam. Ezra opened the book. All the people could see him. That's because he was standing above them. And as he opened the book, the people stood up. Six and last, Ezra raised, Ezra praised the Lord. He is the great God. All the people lifted up their hands and said, Amen, Amen. Then they bowed down. They turned their faces toward the ground and worshiped the Lord. This is the reading of God's holy word. We honor it by saying glory, glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the blessed Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning. Now forever shall it be, word without end. Amen and amen. The Bible story that we will be talking about as um, just implied was a story about Ezra and the people as they worship God. So as we saw from the Bible scripture, the people who lived in Israel gathered together in Jerusalem to worship God. People came from their towns and villages all over the land. Some would have traveled a long distance to Jerusalem just because they loved God and wanted to worship him together. The people told Ezra the priest to bring God's word so he could read it to them. They wanted to listen to God's law from the scriptures. So Ezra brought the scrolls that had God's word on it. And early in the, and early in the morning, Ezra stood on the stage so all the people could see him. And he unrolled the scroll. All the people stood up. And they stood to show uh, respect for God's word. This was their way to honor God and his people by standing up and reading God's word. When Ezra spoke aloud praising God for his words in the scriptures, all the people agreed with Ezra and praised God for giving his word. Ezra began reading from the scroll with God's word. Ezra read aloud from early in the morning until noon. All the people listened carefully while standing all through the morning as Ezra read. For the entire morning, Ezra worshiped God by reading his word from the scroll. The people also worshiped God by listening carefully to his word. So Ezra and the people worshiped God by reading and listening to his word. We also worship God by reading and listening to his word. The only difference is that in, in, in Ezra's time, God's word was written on scrolls, but today we have God's word in the form of the Bible. So we worship God when we read or listen to his word in the Bible. Let me just say that part um, again. We too worship God by reading and listening to his word. And as we all know, the word is the Holy Bible. And that is um, the basic instruction before leaving earth. That is God's way of communicating to us, which is through the Holy Bible. Um, today, I just want to encourage our um, children to so read, read and study more about God by clinging to the Bible. Reading at least one verse per day is the way to go. And I would also add to that and say to read, try and read a Psalm per day. If that is too much, then a verse per day will help us to grow spiritually in Christ. Um, I just have a short uh, excerpt that I also wanted to share with our children um, th that says the Bible is not like any other book, right? It is God's holy word. Every word on its page was breathed by God and written down by men under his direction. 
The Bible is useful for teaching Christians how to live. It corrects our wrong thinking. It trains us in godliness. And in the Bible, we learn about doing good deeds in order to glorify our Father in heaven. It can also provide great comfort and peace. In some places in the world today, it is against the law to read and study the Bible. People oftentimes hold secret church meetings and risk their lives just to read the Bible. But we should never take for granted our freedom to read God's word in this country. Honor the Bible, amen? Honor the Bible, live by it, teach it to others. God wants you to take his word seriously. And interesting part to that um, short excerpt is that so many people in this world, known and unknown, um, don't have the freedom to read God's word, but we do. And we should not take that for granted, amen? We, we, we have the liberty to read God's word wherever we go. So it is important for us to um, read the Holy Bible, amen? And learn from it, learn what God, how God wants us to live by reading the Holy Word, amen? In the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God. It is the, the Bible is a powerful tool that we have today to um, teach us how God wants us to operate. And uh, uh, the, having the Bible also um, teaches us about the love that God has for us. It, 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 um, it is a powerful tool that we um, should not take for granted because we have the liberty, as I said earlier, to read the word of God and to learn more about him through this powerful tool. Amen. So I just want to encourage our children both near and far about the importance of not just reading but also listening to God's word. Amen. Just as how Ezra and the people worship God by reading and listening to his word that is a, a, a perfect example for us to, to read and listen to his word, which is the Bible. So I just want to um, encourage us all not to take that for granted. It is the biblical law that we have to follow in today's day and age. And it is important for us to not just read our Bible once per week or whenever we feel like it. It is imperative for us to start off with reading a Bible verse per day or a Psalm per day, because th this is how we grow in Christ. This is how we build our spiritual man. Um, and as we spoke about last week, we worship God by giving. And the this week, the focus is worshiping God through his word, which is by reading and listening to it day and night. Amen. Dear God, I love to read your word and think about what it means. Reveal to me the truths you want me to learn. Guide which verses I read each day so that you might teach me what I need to know that day. Mm -hmm. You are all powerful and you can show me things in your word. I trust you to instruct me as a teacher does a student. I want your word to be the first thing I put into my mind each day and 
the last thing I draw on before I drift off to sleep. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, David, for doing the um, closing prayer. Looking ahead, our um, topic for next week will be prayer in worship. Um, and I just want to thank you all for joining us um, on this evening. Have um, a great week and may God continue to bless you all. Amen.